And my microphone is back on. There we go. Everything should be fine. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to try not to hold the controller too close to the microphone. I think I did that last time. I'm used to like holding my controller up towards my like chest. I don't know why I play like that. I don't rest my arms that much. But um, I really have to learn how to just get comfy, kick back, relax in this chair, and just stream, right? Every time I stream, I like sit up straight, which I do that on a daily basis, but usually when you sit up straight, you're going to get up in a bit, move around, fixing my pop filter. Can never, can never have good audio, no matter what you do. All right. So back to Slive Cooper and Thievius Raccoonist. So what I was trying to say earlier was that I actually, like an hour and a half before the stream, I had to go back and um, redo Sir Raleigh stuff. I just remembered something. I just remembered something super vital. I was like, why does everything look different? I, I'm not wearing my glasses. That's why. My TV's so fucking far away. Where the hell are my glasses? <laughs> my glasses! I can't see without my glasses. Where the fuck did I sit my glasses down at? Give me a moment. Wow, that was supposed to mute the mic, but it didn't. Good job. Good job, Mike. The mic still isn't getting muted. Alright, fuck that button. I hate that button anyways. There's my glasses. Gotta reach all the fuck over there. I was gonna mute myself so you guys don't have to hear my squeaky chair, but, you know, unfortunately... Can't have everything you want in life. I keep touching my microphone. I gotta stop doing that. I also gotta fix some weird problem it has where it, uh... It, like, slides down the stand. Like, it can't support its own weight for some reason. And that's, like, a new problem that hasn't been happening. Like, ever. God, these people in my house are so fucking loud. Anyways... I'm going to try my best to ignore that, <laughs> but my paranoid ass won't allow me to. So anyways, time to continue with slide. So you guys might know, is there a fucking plane over my house, really? Come on, guys. What the hell? What's going on here? Um, so you guys might notice I might have more lives than usual. So like I was saying, I had to go back and do Sir Raleigh's thing because after the stream last night, I was just fucking it up so bad. That, uh, let me, let me boost the audio on my headset so I can hear, uh, Bentley. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I wanted to practice. I was doing so bad yesterday, right? At least bad by my standards. Uh, I wanted to go and practice some of Mesa City so it won't be as hard to watch. So I did that, but then I forgot there's no level select in this game. Like in the other games. So I'm going to be quiet right now and let the cutscene play out. Next up, a notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he never be kicked on or pushed around again. Sly Cooper in Sunset. What the fuck did I say? Snake Eyes? Sunset Snake Eyes? I couldn't even couldn't even read the damn cursive. Or cursive hybrid. So, here we are in Mesa City. Which isn't as bad 
as Sorales. I think this should have been the first place you head to in the game, actually. Maybe not in terms of, like, story, but in terms of, like, gameplay, absolutely. Right? Um. Sorry. I felt something on my shoulder. It was the ghost. He was telling me. He was telling me my time has come. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, Libra's lively and presses the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Good job. I just want to test the uh, the d audio delay that I have real quick. So let me see. It's like a second delay of audio for me. It's not too bad. It's nothing like game breaking. Like during the cutscene, I barely even noticed it, actually. I'm definitely gonna notice it now. But I mean, I can play with delayed audio. Like, it's not like a rhythm based game or anything like that, so. You know. If I was playing something like, I don't know, Hatsune Miku and her fucking the Persona dancing games or what other rhythm games do I have under my belt? Um, elite beat agents. <laughs> people barely remember that. I don't even think people know about that. Wow, that was stupid. Why did I do that? That was a waste of a horseshoe. Alright. I've gotten a... Uh, since I, um, replayed the first area in the game... I've gotten a little bit more confident with my jumps. Right? Ooh. All my momentum just stopped right there. That sucked. Come on. Also, I uh, turned the brightness up on the fucking gameplay. It seemed a little dark. Like, the blacks were, like, really fucking dark for some reason. Or saturated, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a graphics whore. Don't ask me for anything, right? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Aw. I was having fun with the uh, rotation thing. This is the only game that you can do that in, which is weird. So, as always, we're going to run around, collect all the clue bottles, right? Utilize this roll. And for some reason, I mean, the enemies in uh, Sorali's place was easy, but in here, they're, like, really easy. Also, this Dalmatian, I just love his design. I love the design of this guy. Alright, I definitely should have gotten hit by that. Don't know why I didn't, but okay. Here we go. These enemies, I don't know what their purpose is. Because they do that. Right? They don't ever come off the... Off their leash. Not that I know. I guess they're supposed to be this game's chain chomp. Am I missing one? I might be missing a clue bottle. Oh, that's the safe over there. Okay. I'm gonna grab these two. Get my horseshoe back. Ooh. I don't know why I didn't get hit by that. I should have. Does that jump for me? Right here? Okay. Ooh. I almost over jumped that. more. Come on. There we go. Oh! Uh. Alright. 
right. Oh, no. I fucked that one up. I was hoping I could make it in time. But obviously, I didn't. This guy's so cool. He's basically Gambit. I love him. All right. There better be five in here. Damn it. I'm missing two. And it doesn't matter. We gotta go back anyways. Ooh. Thought I fucked that up. Okay. Roll like the wind, raccoon. Listen. If you play this game and you don't like this roll technique, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's the best technique in this fucking game. It's the most useful, too. Especially when you get the later upgrade for it. Alright, so where is that bottle? Well, those two bottles that I'm missing. Oh, there's one over here. I know for sure. Come on, jump down, Sly. This getting, getting back up here sucks. Because you can actually grab onto that. There you go. Uh, I must be missing them, like, all the way back there. Oh, here they are. They were just hiding in the corner. Now onward to the safe. There we go. Roll away. <gasps> I thought I was going to fall off there. I got so much momentum going on with this shit. Oh, I'm running straight past the bolt. I basically flew up there. Like Superman. Alright. What do we got, Bentley? A little bit of higher mathematics and voila. Dial in three, one, four. Three, one, four. There we go. Good job, Bentley. clear my throat. Jesus, fuck. Okay. So, this hat mine technique is pretty good. I wish there was more uh, range to it, but it's alright. That's how far he can throw it. You can damage yourself with this. And that's the explosion. They could have done a better animation for that, but they didn't. But we are going to get some utility out of that later on. Not right off the bat, but, um, it's useful, right? It's more useful than the dive attack, or, like, the fucking slow motion thing. Alright. Now with all that secure, grab our key, and let's move on. I wonder how many times I'm going to fucking die in this recording. This is also like the start of, um... Levels where if you miss some bottles, you gotta, like, do the level all over again. Because there are some levels where you can't backtrack. Which really suck. But, whatever. Oh, nothing smart to say, Sly? Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break mm -hmm, into the mm -hmm. building's Very sound logic indeed. Sure I'll think of something. All right. Let's move on with our bad selves. Who just honked their fucking horn at me? What was that about? 
Was that just like the soundtrack? What was that about? Huh. I don't know what that was about. Okay, so there's only like three... Akapish. All right. Excuse me? What is happening right now? What the hell? What? The game just glitched out on me. I can't even press the start button. All right. Oh my god, I think my fucking PS3 is just like soft locked on me. Wow. Okay, I can't even press the home button. I have no idea what just happened. Let's, uh, let's fix this real quick. Jesus Christ.
All right. I think everything is back. Let me check the audio and shit. Everything seems fine. I have no idea what the fuck just happened there. That was weird. Let me just fix my microphone up again. That was very weird. Where is... All right, cool. Sorry, I was just checking the audio a bit. Uh, everything should be fine now. I have no idea what the fuck that was about. Don't turn around. Fuck. All right, there we go. Yeah, I forgot what I was even saying before that happened. I hope I don't crash the game again doing this shit. Cause all I did was jump down. All right, son of a bitch. All right, so let's ignore what Mugshot's saying, because we already heard him. Basically, he's saying that uh, there's a police on the spot. But more importantly, it's time to it's time for Murray to carry his own weight, right? Alright, so people say this is the worst vehicle mission in the game. Uh, I don't think it is. I actually had a easy time with it when I did it last time, which was literally like yesterday after the stream. So, what you want to do, like almost in any fucking race, hug these corners for dear life. All right. Okay. I love how I said I'm not gonna have a hard time with this, but I haven't even passed the one yet. Is that guy just driving a fucking police car? the way. Come on. Oh, I should have grabbed that. Should have grabbed that nitro. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this one. Oh, fuck. I hit the railing. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely not winning this one. Because I can't even get past this fucking guy. Who's this guy? Look at this guy. Who's this guy? What are we doing? Oh, three laps? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting past these guys. Yeah, they got it. They got it. Oh, I might make it. Oh, I'm not making it. I hit that corner too hard. Yeah, I hit that corner too hard. Man, those crummy dogs are pumping me right and left. Well, get back in there and bang them Excuse me? <laughs> what did you say, Murray? <laughs> Hello? All right. <laughs> All right. All right, so this guy's getting lapped. Nope. Nope. Never mind. I'm I'm gonna get, end up getting lapped. Shit. Gotta look for a straight. There we go. That's a good spot to use it. Oh my god, I keep hitting these fucking rails. I literally did it first try yesterday. Now I can't even do it at all. All 
Alright, come on, out the way. Move out the way. Come on. Move out the way. Thank you. Out the way. Alright, so you're pretty much gone. Now I just gotta get in front of this guy. Oh, too much momentum there. Too much momentum. Don't worry, we got a whole nother lap to catch up to this guy. We're actually doing fairly good, so... I thought we, I thought they counted three as a lap. All right, all right, rubber band AI. So I gotta get in front of someone on this lap. Oh my god, they tuck it. They tuck my nitro. I needed that. That guy got flipped. Wow. Yeah, no, I messed that up. I messed that up royally. I don't think I'm getting past this guy. Should have grabbed that. Excuse me. the way. Thank you. So we gotta get in front of him on this lap. That was my chance. That was my chance. That was my chance and I messed it up. Yeah, I failed it again, didn't I? Nope. Okay, so it does count the third lap. Didn't it say two last time? Oh no! There goes my chances. This guy is gone. This guy is gone. Yeah, that guy's gone. Yeah, I'm not catching up to that guy. I messed up. Yeah, no, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Jesus. Well, get back in there and bang them back. We need that key. Jesus, wow. I n I didn't have this much trouble with it yesterday. I should have recorded that. I should have recorded it. I did it first try yesterday, and there was no problem to it either. It's the let's play curse, I tell you. Fuck out the way, man. All right. Okay. You don't have to be that violent about it. These turns are fucking killing me, man. I don't know what turns make me want to kill myself more. These turns are fucking... Or the ones in, uh... Crash Racing... Nitro, whatever the fuck the reboot's called. Not reboot, the remake. Alright, dude. Alright, man. Alright, man. Calm down. Calm down, guys. Calm down. Calm down. Come on, Murray, you can do it. Gotta hug those corners. Out the way. Alright. Now we're in second place. This is the last lap, too. I don't think I'm gonna catch up to him. He's too far. 
He's too far gone. I was in last place for too long. Come on. Yeah, yeah, he got it. Got it again. Man, those crummy dogs are bumping me right and left. All right, all right, calm down. You ain't got to be that violent about it. I got this. I feel it on this one. I got this. All right, that nitro wasn't for you. That nitro was not for you. I don't know why you wouldn't take it. I got you messed up. You messed up. You messed up. Oh, I'm about to capitalize on your mistake. Fuck out my way. You messed up. What the hell are those guys? Are they like a mariachi band? What, what are they? Oh, you messed up. You messed up. Oh, you messed up. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. They are a mariachi band. They just sitting here playing music and shit. Oh, get out the way. That man got flipped. Oh, move out the way. You messed up. And you, oh, I, I fucked up that nitro. You, I pass you all the time, so you ain't even worth it. Don't grab that, don't grab that. Yeah. Yeah, see you later, bitch. You're damn right. Look who's in first now. Hitting these corners. Hitting these corners like I'm Chris Brown smacking Rihanna. That's right, I went there. You can't stop me, can't stop this. You can't stop this power. It's too strong for you. Man, it is true what they say. Being being number one is lonely. Let me hit these corners. Uh somebody better call fucking Way to go, Murray. Somebody better file a report for domestic re abuse. Cause I'm hitting those corners really hard. I fucked up that joke. <laughs> I fucked it up so bad. Good job, Murray. Good job. So that's probably the quote unquote hard part of this area. Alright, excuse me, coming through. I hate being in this area now because I think the game's going to crash. Alright. Roll out. So over here, I think we have another Murray section. Ah! Right in the fire. I'm sorry, didn't I have a horseshoe with me? Okay. All right, well, that was a dumb death. Are there any, like, extra lives or horseshoes around this hub? I don't think so. This is actually a fairly, a fairly small hub compared to, um, compared to what, uh, Raleigh had. Bow. All right. This time I won't jump in the fire. Isn't there supposed to be an enemy down here? Trying to get another horseshoe. Alright. Yeah, Murray's big gamble. This is another Murray section. This one's not too hard easy. Now watch me fucking die multiple times. Basically, we're on this turret. It controls pretty well. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim. And press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Now I might mess this up a little bit because I do not have the Murray Screaming First Life sound cue. Right? Oh, listen to this fucking soundtrack. I love this shit. Get this guy. 
All right, now Murray has a moment of peace. I want to blow those up. Get these guys over here. And blow that up so I don't kill them later. And blow that up so I can kill them later. Uh-oh. There we go. Keep going, Murray. I got you. That guy just spawned in there. Get the hell out of here with your bullshit. You... Oh, by the way, you can definitely hit Murray and kill him. So, be careful with that. Uh, this one is a trap. So don't, don't shoot that. <laughs> Uh-oh, but shoot that. Good job, Murray, keep going. I believe in you, buddy. Alright, good job. Got that guy. Got that guy, keep going, Murray. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, there's a guy that's gonna go up there. Smoke him up. That guy. And then we're done. Good job, Murray. Excellent work. Murray doing all the work here. Look at him. He got two keys already. Like, Murray does have his moments in this game, but he's kind of, like, left on the back burner for most of it. He's just, like, our designated driver. He doesn't really get to shine until, like, until, like, 3, right? Like, he shines in 2, don't get me wrong. But until 3, 3 is when, like, he really shines, you know? Uh, all we have is this left, Boneyard Casino. I don't know which one this is. Oh, this one with the roulette wheel, right? Yeah, okay, so this is the first area in the game where if you don't... If you don't, uh, get all the bottles before you reach the end of the level, you can't really go back, so... Make sure you don't miss any like I did. So remember when I said we're gonna get some utility out of this fucking mine hat? I need Bentley to shut up so I can actually do the fucking ability. Alright. So, these guys, dangerous to deal, right? Especially since I don't have a horseshoe with me. So instead, we're just going to do that. And now we're going to wait for these guys to go by. Uh, make sure you look around for those clues. Don't forget any. And then we're just going to wait for them to pass. <laughs> Whenever I look at these uh, guards here, they remind me of. Oh, really? That should have gotten both of them. They remind me of a uh, big bad voodoo daddy, right? Uh, like one of the pictures for his albums. For those of you who don't know who big bad, uh, big bad, eh, can't speak today. Who big bad voodoo daddy is? That is uh. That is basically uh, a uh, jazz artist. And I do like his music a lot. Yeah. Yeah, even though the um <laughs> even though the dog and uh on the on the uh, art for uh what's the song is it? What's next? Look up what's next by a big bad voodoo. Uh, can't even speak today. Big bad voodoo daddy. That's a great fucking track. But um, even though it's a dog and these are uh, shepherds, I mean not a dog. Even though it's a wolf and these are shepherds, it reminds me of them. It's good. I'm just looking around, very paranoid. I don't want to miss any um, what's we call it, bottles. out that mine. Don't worry about these. No problem. These guys are no problem either. All you really gotta do is this. Wow. Wow, that's the first time that's ever happened. Doesn't matter. I'll get another horseshoe real soon. Just you wait. Eh. Come on. Five more.
There you go. Got my horseshoe back. Could have had two, but you know. So make sure you climb up here. There's some bottles up here. Make sure you get those. Uh, make sure you turn around too, because I think... Wow, I still had the mine available. Oof. I think... If I'm thinking right, no, this isn't the spot. There's a spot where there's like a bottle hiding in the corner. And last time I did this, I left that behind and I had to do the whole level over again. These levels aren't that big, but like... It's annoying when you gotta do them over, right? You'd rather do it in one. You should have saw me. You should have saw me. I wouldn't even be mad if he saw me. That was really stupid. Make sure you grab these coins. Right? I just want a second, um, whatchamacallit. Make sure you grab these bottles, by the way. Hitting up here. There we go. Over here you can get some more coins if you pull this. Good. Almost forgot this bottle. That would have been embarrassing. And some more coins. Alright. Uh, hitting the coins with your cane, you actually still collect them. Uh, don't worry about those bottles right now. Now you can worry about them. Let's grab these coins before they disappear. It was that bottle right there. The one I just hit. Fucking, I left that one behind. A little sneaky bastard. Alright. I believe that is every bottle right now in this area. I just want my second horseshoe. I feel safe with it. Hey Gambit, what's up? Alright, good job. Alright, we got our second horseshoe. Over here, this area isn't too bad. Come on. Come on, Sly. There you go. <laughs> Gotta make sure you didn't leave a bottle behind. Really don't want to go back and do this. How many bottles do I have? Alright. Seems like we're on track. Oh! You should have saw me there, but you didn't. Um... Let's see. Yeah, once you jump up here, there's really no way to go back. So, I'm really paranoid that I forgot some bottles down there. I probably did. And it's gonna suck. Because I'm gonna have to redo this. But right now, I only need four of them. So, let's hope that the, uh, the rest of them are up here. One... Two. Is there one more up here? Yes. And that's all of them. Alright, Bentley, what we got? Good job, Bentley. Amazing work, team. What do we got for our prize? This page is from your hyperactive ancestor, B.F. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Just hold down the triangle button to use it. Alright. So just like the slow mode that we get, this is a fast mode. Which is pretty good. 
I'm pretty sure a lot of speedrunners love using that damn thing. Oh no. Shit. Damn it. There we go. Right on it. God damn it. There we go. Collect our key, and we're out of here. And that's it for the first section of Mugshot's place. It's very short. The rest of the level... Mugshot has a pretty short place, actually. So, head over here. Cool. Flip that. Grab your coins. And you're gonna roll on through. Oh, by the way, here's the fast mode. You can use it for a makeshift run button. You'll see a lot of speedrunners just uh, holding this shit down, right? Alright. Uh, I don't think there's any, like, extra lives. Like, just sitting around in his hub world. Unlike Sir Raleigh, where he has, like, fucking five of them. Not even five, four of them. Laying around. I do like this optical illusion, though. I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So, how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. Come on. All right. I do like this uh, optical illusion here with the mugshot. His eyes follow you. He's always watching. Right? I always like that. Is there really no uh, life hitting around here? I'm waiting for this guy. Actually, let me check uh, what level is this because there's one that I definitely want to do last. This one is two to tango straight to the top and back alley heist yeah mugshot only has fuck that's it he only has six levels what the hell all right so i want to head over here first it doesn't matter what i do first but what matters is what i do last so straight to the top which one is this Alright, so this is a fairly, like, very short level, right? Um, and it pulls some bullshit. Nothing, like, too bad or game-breaking or anything like that, but with these fucking bottles, they hide them in a pretty clever spot. Which made me run around for, like, 30 minutes last night looking for the damn thing until I fucking saw what it was, and I was like, wow, I'm stupid for not noticing that. So, yeah, so basically our goal here. We can't reach that key. Wrong button. Forget it. Your cane will never smash that thick glass. You'll need yeah, I know, Bentley. I was explaining it. Alright. Alright, Bentley. Why don't you come out dumb I can't speak, damn it. Why don't you come down here and do it? Since you got all the answers. This fucking guy. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Who's that guy? Look at him. Look at this guy. Who's that guy? Alright. So basically, this level is literally just that area, well, this area where we're at right now, and that area over there where the casino sign is at. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's all this area is in this game. Uh, make sure you be careful with these, because those cars, f cars, those cars fall. I felt like I said the word car wrong. Those cars do fall. Motherfucker! Give me my bottle, damn it. 
Fuck it. We'll do it over. Roll away. We'll do it. We'll do it over. Damn it. <laughs> As I was saying, be careful with them. There I go, fucking it up. It's because I'm recording, isn't it? It's because I'm streaming. It's because of that. The world just has it out for me. Bentley, please don't repeat yourself. I don't mind losing that horseshoe, by the way. Because I can get more. Just collect these coins over here. And I got my horseshoe back. Alright, cool. Uh, oh, I need to go up there. Oh, by the way, I need to go over here. Don't forget these. Alright. Still make sure you collect these coins, though. Because if you have... You have both your horseshoes, and you collect these coins, you get an extra life. And they won't do away with extra lives until, um... Extra lives. They won't do away with lives until slide two, where you get a health bar, and it's beautiful. Right? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Alright, Sly, what the hell was that about? Alright, cool. Now that we're down here, I wonder... Would this work... I definitely hurt myself doing that. That was stupid. I should have backed up, but it didn't work. So, all right, cool. Make sure you grab these, and more importantly, I'm gonna switch back to my my roll. Most importantly, make sure you do this. There's literally just ten of them in here. And I was looking for those for like a good 30 minutes yesterday. Um, let's see, is there any other bottles? Yes, there are. Over here. Alright. You can't jump over this, right? But there's a bottomless pit on the other side, so there's really no reason to do that. Alright. I don't think there's any bottles on top of these letters at all. Alright, I almost fell off doing that shit. But there are bottles over here. Make sure you grab them. Here. Oh! I didn't even see you there, you son of a bitch. Look at you and your cool card tricks. Alright. Moving on. That was my last horseshoe, right? They really got me on that one. Over here. You and your friends is dead. You and your friends are dead. All right. Deal with this guy. Let's not mess this one up. Would have been embarrassing. We're missing four, which there are some over here. We're missing three. 
Oh god, here we go with this shit. There must be like a safe somewhere that I uh missed. Well, for right now, you can safely jump down. There's no fall damage. Not that I know of in this game. Let me see. This is perfect, perfect time to use the fast ability. Look around. See where these bottles are at. Oh, there they are. They're over there in that corner. There we go. Uh, I do not think there's a fast way up there, is there? No. There's no shortcut. So we just gotta climb back up there. Nothing too bad. Especially with the fast ability. Come on. There we go, Sly. Gotta go up here. Alright. Look how fast we are. I'm fast as fuck, boy. You don't even know how fast I am. Bentley, what we got? Good job, Bentley. I can always count on you to decipher codes. came to do. Come on, Sly, jump down. Come on, Sly, jump down. Come on, Sly, jump down. There you go. Good job, Sly. Collect the treasure key and let's move on. We've been going for an hour already. I must have been fucking it up with Murray's thing. We should have been done by now. Should have taken at least an hour to do this. Alright, uh, where's the next area? Th that's it right there, right? No, that's two to tango, I think. No, that's two to tango. Which one is two to tango? I want to do that last. Out of the way, losers. Nope, that's two to tango. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna head over here. Uh, which way is it? Is it this way? No. No, it's this way. What am I doing? It's that one right there. Back alley heist. Back alley heist isn't that bad. It's pretty platform heavy. Well, not heavy. Heavy for Sly Cooper, right? Uh, this is another one, I think, where you need to get all the clues and you can't really go back. Be 
careful with those jumps. Uh, I don't think there's a bottle up here. I think this is up here just to give you some height to grab that bottle if you missed it. But from now on, with these jumpy... Oh, motherfucker. With these jumpy bottles, right? These bottle jumps. You gotta be, a, gotta be pretty careful with them. I didn't even fucking hit that statue. Come on. Come on, game. At least let it count when I hit it. Right. Uh, I don't think there's anything back here. Yeah. Just like extra coins if you want them. Alright. Cool. Let's move on. Um... Oh, you can duck. Alright. I usually just jump past this. I don't... I don't really take my time with this one. Come on, come on, go down, Sly. Good job. Uh-oh. Didn't think that would happen. Shut up. Shut up with your alarm. How dare you mark me? Mark me? Wow. Mock me. How dare you? I am not in time with these bottles. Come on, Sly. Come on, Sly. You can do better. Come on, Sly. Come on, Sly. Come on, Cooper. Hit the damn bottle, dude. Sly, you're my son, but I'm being very disappointed in you right now. There you go. Got one more. There we go. Alright. Um... I don't... I think these are just here to help you hit those bottles. Alright, so these are the ones you gotta watch out for, right? I'm probably gonna fuck this up, and I'm gonna cry! Damn it! Damn it. I think I can reach that one up there. Pretty confident that I can reach it. I think I can jump from here and still reach that. Nope, it's too high. It's too high. <laughs> yeah, I messed that up. We're gonna have to come back and do that. Jesus. Can't believe I really messed that up. Did I mess it up? Shouldn't the bottle still be there? Did it just disappear? I'm pretty sure I didn't get that bottle. But it's not there no more. It should still be there. Yeah. I didn't get that bottle. It should still be there. Unless there's... Oh no, I did get the bottle. How the fuck did I get that bottle? I thought I missed it. Alright. Well, we don't gotta go back then. Isn't that a saving grace? Alright. Five. Six. Don't know why I went the long way with it, but I did. Tell us what we won, Bentley. Oh yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. This is gonna be very helpful and um in the next world. I also think this might 
pertain to uh, bottomless pits as well. I'm not sure. But whatever. We did. Oh no! Well, it doesn't pertain to bottomless pits because I just lost my damn horseshoe. That wasn't my fault. That was Sly's fault. That was Sly's fault. 100%. I pressed the circle button. I know what I did. We still have yet to die, though, I think. I don't think we lost life. No, we did. We did. We lost life. When I jumped in that fire, we lost life. Totally forgot about that. Alright, Sly, I don't know why you didn't go for the spire jump. Excuse me. So here's to the Tango. There's a reason why I wanted to do this one last. This is another one where, um... Where if you don't get all the bottles in one go, you gotta you gotta come back and do it and grab the remaining bottles. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Sly. The range of his cane wasn't long enough. That was the goofiest death. That was really stupid. I just sat there. Sly. My man almost died again doing that shit. What is the range on this cane? It's pretty good range for it. But like, he just, it wasn't long enough. Well, 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 look who just walked into my crosshairs. Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the surface is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. I fucking love Sly. Smart ass motherfucker. All right, this man always has come back for everything. All right, so it's a good old chase scene. Carmelita's shooting at us, and we gotta go. And this is why, if you don't get those bottles, you're never gonna make it back. So make sure you grab these bottles. Uh oh. Make sure you look everywhere for these damn bottles. I hope I grab them. <gasps> Come on, grab my bottles. I think these are the ones that I missed on my practice run. I thought I almost fell off. Don't forget this one. And we're good. I forgot those two up there, and I also forgot this one in this corner. Right. So over here, our good old friend the mine is going to come in handy. Or we can just do that, right? Now, you can either climb up there and get the drop on that guy, or, uh... Actually, I think I'm just gonna do that. It's pretty easy. And just like that, got all the clues. What we got, Bentley? Alright. So now we have an ability to use a decoy. I've never used this. 
Well, that's a lie. I have used it, but I never found any actual utility for it. Right? Enemies are supposed to attack it. But there are some enemies where I just throw it out there, and they'll see it, and they'll just go, Nah, that's not sly. That's sly. Right? So, I don't know, man. It's kind of a useless ability. Alright. So let's head over here. And finish the rest of this. Come on, Carmelita, you can aim better. Lead your shots. Remember the CQC of basic- Oh! That really caught me off guard that I said- <laughs> What I was saying, I said it backwards. I meant to say, remember the basics of CQC, and instead I said, remember the CQC of basics. Alright, Carmelita, you light your shot on that one. You got me, right? Come on, Sly. I'm gonna hunt you down, Cooper. You can't run forever. And just like the ending of Cats Don't Dance, you send them off on their merry way with a balloon. And we also got the last key for Mugshot's area. So now we can confront Mugshot. And we have a golden horseshoe to do so. All right. Time to confront Mugshot, and let's get this over with. Now, on my test playthrough, I died probably about, like, five times to him, right? Hopefully, I can do it pretty well here. Because right now, we only have, what, two, three deaths under our belt? For, uh, for this, um, run-through? big, mysterious dude running around cracking skulls, and, and, and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. All right. Wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Oof. Wow. Oof. You're Sly. You know, That's why I love Sly. Rakamagookas had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint. Um, um, I'm not sure about that last one. The place was pretty trash when I got here. I didn't do none of that. That wasn't me. So, Mugshot and all his muscles, he's too strong for us. Oh my god. He's too strong for us to just whack with our cane. So... Oh my god, he's moving pretty fast. He's moving faster than he did last night. What the hell? I just realized what that how that sounded. Oh my god, roll away, Sly! Jesus! Excuse me? <laughs> Why is he moving so fast? He wasn't this fast when I did my plus uh test playthrough. Shit. So like I was saying, we basically gotta light the lanterns to heat up the floor? I don't fucking know, man. He just burns when you light these up. Oh my god, I missed. Yeah, he just burns up. I don't know what the explanation for that is. Good thing I got a spare upstairs. I guess it's because he's a dog and dogs don't have sweat glands but i don't think raccoons have sweat glands either so i don't get it oh shit ah! uh oh yep definitely and you gotta do it all over again this is kind of a harsh boss fight i'm not gonna lie
I almost got hit by that. Tuck and roll, raccoon. Tuck and roll. Burn up, bitch. He's pretty intimidating when he's chasing you like that. It's a pretty fast-paced battle, too. So... I gotta get past him. I gotta get past him. I gotta get past him. <laughs> oh, shit! It's very difficult. I'm gonna lose all my lives doing this. It is an entertaining boss fight, though. Oh, wow. Cut me off. This guy. He's fucking fast. Why are you so fast? My beautiful guns is destroyed. Good thing I got this bit upstairs. This guy. This fucking guy right here. Now I get you're supposed to use these for cover, right? But they're pretty unreliable. Oh my god. I should have gotten hit by that. <gasps> cover. Fuck. Come on, Sly. That wasn't the last one. Where is it? Where is it? It's all the way over there. Shoot. You have to shoot. You have to shoot. You gotta shoot. You gotta shoot, man. You gotta shoot your gun. Oh. oh! You gotta shoot your gun, man. You gotta shoot so I can so I can make a run for it. I'm trying to bait him. Motherfucker. Oh! Did I get hit by that? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I don't like this fight. <laughs> so this part's pretty easy, I say as I get killed. Alright, so make sure... You're automatically gonna get cover from these. And he's gonna shoot. But once you hit that, you gotta go. Because if he hits the mirror... Then, um... Then it's gonna rotate back. Right? Oh man, I waited too long. He's gonna shoot me. He's gonna shoot me! I gotta do it all over again. I got too scared. I got too scared. I'm not gonna lie about that. I really got scared and I stopped for a moment and I thought about my life. I thought about what I was doing. I thought about... I thought about what I'm gonna do next. I th oh my god. Roll! Tuck and roll, baby! <gasps> I dodge it by rolling? Yeah. This is a game changer. Oh, you can't hit me now, can you? Yeah. Yeah, because I duck under it. Yeah. All right, never mind. I had a horseshoe? When did I get a horseshoe? Oh, yeah, I got a bitch horseshoe. If you die too many times, I think they give you a bitch horseshoe. Like, uh, like in Crash, when they give you a bitch Aku Aku. Roll away. Oh my god. I, I, I fucking... <sighs> Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go for the mirror. Ow! Come on. Come on. He's so intimidating. Burn, bitch. Oh, that wasn't the last one. No. I'm really risking it here. Like the wind. Yeah. That wasn't the last one. What's the last one? Oh, here it is. Oh, motherfucker. Are you serious? I got too greedy. I'm telling you, it's more difficult than it seems. Roll, raccoon, roll. There's the bitch horseshoe. So I think I got hit because I was up on the side of the, um, up on the side of the screen or whatever. 
and that counts as elevation. My beautiful gun is destroyed. So I think if you're not on like the borders of the arena when you're rolling, I think you won't get hit. It's a very tight hitbox. Let me try. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Clutch. Just don't roll off the edge. This guy is so fucking intimidating. All right. Now that I know his secrets, it's not that difficult. <laughs> I think I got it this time. You get a lot of utility out of that run. So like I said, once you do it, just go for it, right? Come on, shoot. Alright. Moving on. Oh, he's gonna hit it back. Yeah. Uh-oh. Nope. I fucked that up. Let him hit it back. Whew. Alright. We're done with Mugshot. Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing. And drag that canine steroid case off to jail. Hot stuff with a badge colors canine criminal. I find it. I find it very alarming that the uh, cops in the background of that picture are pigs. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say it. Sly did. All right. But we did it. Mugshots defeated within like. Uh, considering the hiccups that we had along the way with the fucking stream within like an hour 25 right Murray what, what the hell are you doing my man's over here playing a PlayStation look at him look at that guy so now we can head to Haiti uh, what time is it actually let me see it is currently Two o'clock. All right, that's not bad. Uh, we can head to Haiti. Yeah, let's head to Haiti. I'm pretty sure we can do a uh, Ruby. I wanted to um tackle Jack and Daxter, right? Like later on tonight, but I don't think. Hey, you know what? Let's see how. Let's see how this goes. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Sly Cooper in... Vicious Voodoo. Alright, Bentley. You got anything smart to say? No, not yet. Give us some time. He'll say something.
Here we go. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not a problem. This swab is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot section of the CVS Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. All right. So, unlike Mugshot's place, I really didn't get any time to practice uh, Ruby's place, right? I did, like, I think, I, come on, Sly, get the fucking bottle, man. Come on, man, what are you doing, guy? Well, look at this guy. Who's this guy? Look at this guy. Who's this guy? Right? <laughs> um, I didn't get that much time to practice Ruby's area. I was going to, but something else came up at the time. So, we're definitely going to die a lot here. But this is where that ability we have comes in handy. Because there's a lot of water here instead of bottomless pits. So, there are definitely some, um, some shortcuts we can take by, by fucking around with that. Come on, mosquito. I don't like those guys' hitboxes. They're weird. Alright. Is there a... Nope. Whoop! Almost fell off. There we go. Alright. Out the way. So these enemies up here, right? I'm gonna hate fighting them, because I always die to these motherfuckers, because they're technically two enemies in one, kind of like Jack and Daxter, but, um, the moment you hit it, the enemy, which is like the head, comes off by itself, and it has an active hitbox the moment it comes off, so you'll just go hit the enemy and then instantly get hit by the head and you'll just, you'll just die, right? Which is why I hate fighting those guys. You don't see them too much in this area, right? Well, at least not from what I played so far. But having two of them in one area, kind of a pain in the ass. This is also where I tried the decoy thing at. Oh, fuck this. It's also where I tried the uh, decoy ability at. They totally ignored it. They didn't care, right? They looked at it, said, no, I don't care, and then proceeded to kill me. So, yeah, the decoy ability is kind of lame. I'm not sure if the mine ability can one-hit them, though, so that warrants some experimenting. sure about that slide you guys kind of argue a lot all right so over here we'll get some actually I'll, I'll wait for him to come past we'll get some utility from the mine ability because you just set it down and you wait is the fast ability yeah fast ability is next to the mine ability so you can do that Oh, but when you switch abilities, it disappears. Oh, I didn't know that. All right. That's nice to know.
Sorry to be too quiet about that. <laughs> I just was focusing on it. I think that's all of them, right? So you want to hit these candles, right? Break down that ancient voodoo barrier. And also, don't forget these, um... Oh, there's a safe. Don't forget your, uh, whatchamacallit, your clues. Where are the last two clues at? You've done it! The Lojo force field is down, and you can steal the key! <laughs> yeah, I can do that, but where the fuck are the last two clues? There's one right here. Did I pass it? I'm pretty sure I passed it. It should be over here somewhere. Hmm. I think I might have skipped the clue back there. Let's see. And I'm not sure if we can... If we can... Uh, backtrack. We should be able to, right? Yeah, there's probably, like, one up there that I missed or something. Can you grab that, Sly? No? Maybe I can fuck with the, uh... With the checkpoint system, right? And if I fall off close enough to someplace else, it will put me back. Nope. Alright. Let's see. Oh! I'm stuck. Let's see. Damn it, I don't think I can backtrack. I think I messed this up. Yep. Yeah, I missed one. That's a oops on my part. I could have sworn I got all of them. That's okay. Where the hell did I possibly miss it? I think I I think I know. I think I actually know where it's at. But let's just make sure. Let's just make sure that it's not over here in a corner somewhere. Right? It's not hiding behind this- oh shit. <laughs> It's not behinding this tree, or nothing like that. Yeah, I missed it. Alright, well I fucked that up. Let's grab the key and get going. We can come back for it. I'd rather not come back for it, but we can come back for it. Sly. It's just gonna bring us to the end. Yeah, alright. Is there no way to just restart the area? I uh, really hope I didn't fuck that up. Really hope I didn't fuck that up. Here we go. Alright. Let's go grab whatever bottle we missed. I think I missed the one that... Yep, there it is. Oh! Surprised I didn't get hit by that. I'm so surprised I didn't get hit by that. Fuck out the way. 
Excuse me, coming through, don't mind me. I'm just Raccoon on admission. Alright. I really f There we go. Thought I fucked that one up too. I do like the soundtrack though, for this area. This whole entire game has great soundtrack. And it's dynamic too, which is great. It's like, uh, Wind Waker. Alright. I think I can just ignore these guys. I'm gonna try my best. Huh. Excuse me, coming through. Thank you. Alright. We're speed running this shit. Excuse me. You pose no threat. Press the circle to enter the vault code. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be five eight eight. All right. I think this is one of the best power-ups. Let's see. Electrified. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. All right. So our roll move is now electrified, so we can attack enemies with it, but it doesn't defend us. So we'll still get hit out of it. But hey, we can roll into enemies now. And just like that, we're back to where we left off at. Cool. See, that wasn't too long. Took about like a minute. Minute and a half, maybe. Alright. So let's head down here. I only did like um, two areas on my practice run here, so there's a uh, there's a lot we gotta do here. First things first, I want to deal with this. I don't like Miss Ruby. I just don't. She's weird. She's one of my least favorite villains in the series. But, um... <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Her area of the game is actually done pretty well. I just don't like it. It's not my, uh... It's not my flavor of coffee. You know what I mean? But anyways, I want to get rid of this first. Because in my... This was one of the two areas that I did get to practice. And this is one of the areas that, um... That you definitely got to collect all the bottles. Or you'll have to come back here. I end up coming back here about like four times. Industrial strike voodoo gate. Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Alright. So I'm gonna try my best to get all the bottles in one run over here. Oh by the way, the roll, that's what it looks like. Okay, here we go. I remember I forgot one bottle over here that was just like hanging. This one tucked in the corner up there. Don't forget that one. Hit it sly. There you go. I think that's all in that area. I should really double check. Oh, you can grab on those. I didn't know that. Huh. Learn something new every day. So this area is actually fairly short, it's not that long of an area, it's just you might have to come back here because um, you're missing a bottle. 
But if you're not worried about the power-ups and stuff like that, then it's a pretty short area. You can run through it. The reason I'm running through it like this right now is because <laughs> I did it so many damn times. Let them attack first, because they have a weird wind-up animation, so. And they always tend to attack you before they're even in range. Where the hell am I? Alright, there we go. Don't forget your bottles, right? Oh, you can jump up there. I didn't know that. I'm gonna wait for this guy. There we go. All right, and over here is where I would say worry about getting the bottles. Don't even worry about losing a life because you really just don't want to come back here and do it. Oh, I missed a bottle. Fucking hell. I didn't even see it there. All right, I'm going to kill myself. And this is what I mean. I'd rather kill myself and get and get the checkpoint. And get that bottle. Instead of having to do the fucking level all over again. I didn't even see that bottle that I missed. It's right there. So. Worry, like I said, worry about the bottles. Because if you ever really need to get away from this thing, just, um, oops. Yeah, just, uh, if, if you've been collecting the clues like I have, if you ever really need to get away from it, just jump in the water and you'll take no damage and it'll just boost you super far ahead of this damn creature. Serpent, whatever the hell you want to call it. Hey, we get a horseshoe. There we go. Just like that, left this guy in the dust. It's not too hard. It's just you're trying to get those bottles and you don't want to go back. And the reason you can't go back is because he's destroying the path. Um, so there should be Oh my god, really? Did I really just leave a bottle all the fuck the way back there? <sighs> wow, we're gonna have to come back. Oh uh, I'm missing two bottles actually. Is there one, like, near the fucking safe? Eh, it doesn't matter. We're gonna have to come back anyways. <sighs> exactly what I didn't want to do. We might actually get a game over. How many lives do I have? 12? Yeah. Have yet to get a game over in Sly 1. But we might get a game over. Also, since my air conditioner is, is off, it's getting really fucking hot in here. It doesn't help that I got headphones on either. There's no way I, there's no way I left one in that corner over there because I double checked it. I left this, right? Now 
where's the other one that I leave behind? I'm trying to find it. Look at all that momentum I got. Uh, you should attack those spiders, because on Sly, when Sly swings back on the hooks, you'll definitely hit yourself right into that spider, so... It's a good idea to kill them, so you don't have to deal with them. I think I know where I left the other one at. And these guys, I won't even try getting past them without killing them. Come on. There we go. I think I left it over here. Yeah, I did. Alright. Oh, wow! What the hell was that, Sly? That wasn't even my fault. No, it's 100% Sly's fault. Alright. So now I can show off what I mean by just jumping in the water. Right? So this guy, right? The moment you get on this rail, he'll chase you. Forget about that. Jump in the water. Right? Just keep jumping in the water. Because we got that power up. And we just get boosted ahead. Come on. And we take no damage. Right? Look at that. Look at that. There's no reason to worry. Right? And if he ever catches up to you, just jump in the water. The game is programmed to um, boost you ahead of him so you don't get stuck behind him. And so that the platforms don't disappear on you, right? So now that we got all the bottles, really didn't want to do this level again. I had to overcome some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Try four, four, four. Yeah, I remember that one. It's definitely a parody to six, six, six. Now, with all that work, you get a useless fucking ability. A more modern entry. Bruce O'Koof's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard information into your binocucom. So this just tells you where the guards are at. Thanks, game. Is... It's almost like it wasn't that hard to begin with. It's not like they have big flashing beacons with them most of the time. It's a worthless fucking ability. But, you know, it's part of 100%. But hey, man. You know where these guards are at. Mojo Debris. Fudo enjoy golf. What? Fudium. Enjoys golf. Oh, yeah. That's the name of the guards and shit. It is nice that you see a little stupid shit, though. It's like, oh, that guy enjoys golf. He enjoys golf, too. It's almost like they're the same person. <gasps> it's a very... It's a useless fucking upgrade. I think there's only two levels in this area, right? No, there's three. Where's the third one at? We did that. Oh, the third one's uh, between, through that gate. So, I don't know how the hell you're supposed to get past this guy, right? Um... I forgot how I did it. I forgot how I did it. <laughs> I think I just literally did this. Oh, he can shoot me through that? I'm pretty sure there's like an ability or something you get like a... Oh, or you can jump up here or something. Oh. I didn't know that. I didn't even see that. Oh, well. A grave undertaking. 
This is the other one I was able to practice. This one has 40 clue bottles, I believe. The most that you'll see in this game. Actually, I think the most you'll see is like 45. I want to try out the mine ability and see if I can just one hit this guy with it. Nope. But it is a good strategy though, to separate them early. So over here, you have the ghost and these little tombstones. I didn't even pay attention. Ah. Uh, too close. Alright, so the mine is pretty... is a pretty good, um... tactic to use on those guys. Alright. Just make sure we check these corners and everything. Don't want to have to run back for these fucking... Uh, whatchamacallit, these clue bottles. Ah, I really like that strategy. It's a good strategy. So yeah, when the ghosts pop up, just keep swinging your cane, you should be fine. They endlessly spawn until you attack the little tombstone that they come from. And that's pretty much it for those guys, right? Alright, now that they're dealt with, let's move on. Grab these bottles. And jump up here. There's more bottles to the left. I don't know why the fuck they put 40 bottles in this level. It's so unnecessary. It's really no reason, especially since they cluster most of them together. So They cluster most of them together. Was that a good use of that word? I don't think it was. I should have said most of the time they clustered them together. Huh, is that how you use that? I don't know. I barely use the word cluster. Every time you get a chance to use the word cluster, you should use it. It's a fun word to say. Cluster. Cloister. I used to like cloister, right? I used to like shelter. Shelter's a goofy-ass looking Pokemon. Why am I talking about Pokemon? <laughs> All right, so let's get a move on. Nothing over here on the chandelier. Oh, I almost fucked up my jump there. Little dead Bentleys over here. It's very scary. I don't think he's going to follow me that far. Let's see. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, you barely follow me at all. Yeah, no, you're not going to come that far. Yeah, okay. Alright. Do it that way. Not even going to waste the time. Make sure you check your corners, right? Don't want to have to search the whole level again for these fucking bottles, but you might. You might have to. You always end up missing one thing. Alright, let's move on. 
five more bottles left. There's two in there, and I think there's some near the safe. Yeah, there should be three near safe. There's No, there should be two near safe. There's one over here in this fucking corner. Oh, come on. Also, once you, once you destroy this, whatever's alive is still alive. And just like that, we do not have all the clue bottles. Where the fuck are the rest of these things? Can they all be in here? No, I'm missing four of them. Where the fuck? <sighs> My bad, I meant to... I meant to press the roll button. There's no reason to blow that up. Hmm. Let's check. Exactly what I didn't want to do. But let's do it anyways. I don't think there's any down there. I don't think I left any behind down there, at least. They have to be, like, in a corner up top somewhere. Oh, I know where I left it. Well, I know I le where I at least left one of them. Yep, up there. But that's only three. There's, like, a hidden one somewhere. Oh, there it is. Huh. Not that much backtracking required. Totally forgot about this. <laughs> Alright. Let's unlock this safe and finish this level. I do not know how many levels uh, Miss Ruby have all together. Oh my god! No. You better put me back up there. I pressed the circle button. Sly, what the hell was that about? Alright. Do not hit the key. Make sure you head over to here. And I think this is where we can get the information for all the other clue bottles. Why the fuck did the frame rate drop in that area? Oh, I'm going the long way around. Oh, why is the frame rate lower? I don't like that. That's weird. These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binocucom. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. All right. We've only been streaming for like 2 hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, felt longer than that. Felt like it's been 3 hours by now. <laughs> streaming is mentally draining. It really is. Especially when you don't have a fucking air conditioner to cool yourself off with. It's hot as hell in here! I hate the summer. I don't know why people like summer so much. I hate it. I love the fall though. The fall is great. Halloween's the best fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, holiday ever. Alright, so let's head down here. I do not know what the hell this mission is. Piranha Lake. It's probably vehicle mission. Yeah, it's vehicle mission. Alright. What are we doing? Hurry, 
You only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Okay, we've run out of two minutes. Why don't we just... How do I shoot again? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. This does not control well. Oh, wow. It's like a burst. Okay. And you can only store up to five shots. All right. At least it doesn't control too bad. Some fast moving fucking fish, though. I call bullshit. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this. I'm not gonna make this. Oh, I'm not gonna make this. Yep. Yeah. You guys are little fishy fucks. You gotta have some, you gotta have fucking precision of a god getting these guys. Yeah, I'm not making it. I also fucked around in the beginning, too. Oh, there's two more. Where are they? Where are you? No, where's Torch? Where's Torch? Where's Torch? <gasps> One, two, got it! First try, bitch! That makes up for the Murray shit. Good job. And that shit came down to the wire. Huh, that was enjoyable. It didn't control like shit. It actually controlled pretty well. It's just that you carry a lot of momentum. Alright. Now that we have the three keys in this area, we can unlock that voodoo gate. Um... Oh, that unlocked that. Okay, I thought I thought that would unlock that. Huh. Well, at least it's a nice enough monster to go back in its prison. Roll away. Oh fuck you, spider. Out of my way. Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid. I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Okay. Then what the hell is the point of that uh, voodoo wall? I guess it's to cut me off. How many levels do we have? Like, we have three? Oh, Ruby doesn't have that many levels either. Okay. Alright, what's over here? Descent into danger. I don't like the sound of that. That sounds scary. Alright. We're going in partially blind, because I don't know much about this place. Well, first of all, it's not a fucking, it's not a restaurant, Bentley. It, the fact that you even think that anyone would want to eat in the fucking swamp, pay money to eat in the damn swamp, 
is ludicrous to begin with. Can I make that jump? I don't think I can make that jump. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> oh, shit. What's that about? Fuck your candle. How do I kill you? Oh, I just smack you. Alright, cool. What was that about? That was weird. Just want to make sure there's no, uh... Bottles being left behind. Okay. No bottles down there. Out of my way. But there is a bottle here. And some spotlights. Oh no! I panicked. I panicked. I'm not sure if you can tell that I panicked there, but I 100% panicked. Also, those spotlights are a little difficult to see. Where's the other bottles at? There's two over there. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to... Alright, cool. Oh, there's 40 in this area? Jesus. You didn't have to go that hard. What's up here? Just to get past that guy, I guess? Hi, Ruby. made that. That was metal as fuck what I just did. Don't care what anyone says. Yeah, we're gonna have to get back up there. Because I don't, I don't think I can make that jump over the thorns. But it's not that difficult to get back up there, right? At least I don't think it is. What I'm worried about is uh, those falling platforms. Maybe they respawned. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. If they didn't, I'll find a way. I always find a way. I'm Sly Cooper. Ah, uh, there is stuff up there. Okay. Let's not forget about that. Just want to make sure there's no, like, passage I'm missing. That was close. Alright. Excuse me. What is this? Is this like a searchlight or a fucking piece of glass? What is this? Well, whatever it is, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not gonna get pushed off, am I? No? Alright. Come on, Sly, just get on it. Alright, cool. Alright. Look at all the security. This must be the source of all the disgusting green soup. Oh, 
I just want to make sure I'm not uh leaving that area behind. Fuck your searchlights. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit by that. All right. Oh, you're an undead turtle. I didn't even notice that. That's creepy as fuck. Are there no bottles here? I forget that I can look with my binoculars sometimes. Alright. There's two left. I'm not gonna lie, I hesitated because I didn't know if he was like standing in front of the key or not. And I got a horseshoe back. Alright, cool. I really hope I'm not leaving anything behind. Okay, they're right here. Come on. There you go. What we got, Bentley? Mm -hmm. Five, seven, one. Thank you, Bentley, for your services. I'll rate you five stars when I get a chance. Yeah, but it still slows me down, right? So there's really no reason. Yeah, it slows me down too. There's really no reason for it. Huh, that wasn't a bad level. And there's a lot of opportunities to backtrack if you miss any bottles. So now we have two more. Alright, come on. Calm down, Searchlight. Is this another vehicle mission? Alright. What are we doing? Okay, so is the goal just make it to the end? It doesn't seem too bad. Ooh. Almost didn't see you there, turtle fuck. There's really no reason to ever stop shooting. You should always be shooting. Am I going? Alright, got a checkpoint. That's good. Got some ghost. And I gotta break down the barrier. Okay. Man, these barriers take a lot of fucking hits. Think that's the end of the ghost? Alright, cool. Now do I gotta deal with both? Yep. Shouldn't be too hard as long as I keep moving. Fuck that turtle up though. Alright. Alright. 
That wasn't too difficult. Okay. So I gotta work my way. Okay, this one might be a little bit difficult. Oh, surprise. Surprise I didn't count, but that did. Oh, you're not dead yet? I thought it hit you. Oh, you're blocked by the fucking barrier. There you go. Alright. Alright, so this might be a little difficult. Well, the fact that I haven't hit your barrier or you yet pisses me off. There you go. Oh my god. This better be the last section. This is really drag it on. Bears take too many fucking hits. Uh oh. You guys are spawning in too fast. Fuck off. Dude, I swear, is there like a range on this? Yeah, I think there's a range on this. Alright. There's definitely a range on this. I thought I thought you can just hit from anywhere, but you gotta be a little bit close. Alright. Wasn't too bad. A little tedious, but not too bad. Not as bad as that crab shit. <laughs> that crab, that fucking crab mini game was terrible. God, I don't know why they made it 40. They should have made it 30. Alright. I'm not gonna get too greedy. One more area, and then we deal with Miss Ruby. Is this where we came from? Yeah, that's where we came from. Where the fuck are we going? Come on, Sly, you can make it. it. Must be over here. Yeah, it is. This fucking guy right here. Doom home cooking. I mean, down home cooking. Alright, it's Doom. There's chickens. Why is there chickens? Oh, it's another mini game. Okay, so that's the catch. Hit the chickens, but not the ones with the bombs. Okay. Oh, and there's a time limit, too. Oh, you motherfuckers are fast. Got some fast fucking chickens. How many do I gotta hit? 50? Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, and there's the bombs! You motherfuckers move fast! There's a time limit, and they kill you? Ah, damn. Stay away from me! You better stay away from me! You better blow yourself up! You better get the fuck out of here. That bullshit. 
50 chickens in the time limit. Oh! Oh, wow. You guys last for a while. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's too close. Oh, you really gotta risk it with these chickens, too. You really gotta risk it. So you gotta force them to run into each other. Alright. Okay. Alright. Come on, chickens. I should have hit you. I should have hit all of you right there. I should have counted. Motherfuckers. Ten more chickens? Oh, you guys are... The game just glitched. The game just froze. What? Aw, oh, come on, really? The game soft locked again. This is the second time this shit happened. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta. I gotta restart the PlayStation again. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this game. But we'll be right back. Jesus Christ, what the hell?
All right, so we're back, right? I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Let me just make sure the audio is going correctly before I start playing. Okay, yeah, we're good. I have no idea what the fuck's going on, right, with this game right now. Uh, once we're done with the stream, I'll like clean the disc and see what's going on with that. But I've never had this problem ever. This is uh, this is some crazy shit. But good thing this game has a really good uh, like auto save feature. A little too good sometimes. Um, yeah. And no, I didn't start the game. I literally press start on the main menu and this is where it uh, loaded me at. So, let's restart that. Right? Did that take a life to restart the level? Are you kidding me? So, be careful at these corners. Because that's where these motherfuckers come. Oh, shit. Alright, so as long as they don't touch you, it doesn't matter how close they are to you. As long as they don't touch you, you're good. That was clutch. That was clutch as fuck. Come here, you chickens. How is the ghost scared of the chickens carrying the bomb? The ghost can't die! Mother... Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. It'll be nice if some of the chickens dying count counts with the bombs and shit oh yeah yeah I'm gonna just take that there is no way to wow these chickens move pretty fucking fast I'm scared of the bomb chickens now yeah we can we're definitely gonna game over on this shit and being near where they come out is not a good thing either here comes the bombs. Out of my way. That was a nice, that was a nice little chicken hole there. Just gotta be careful with where they spawn from. Alright, we're doing pretty good. They instantly died. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to hit them by accident. Come on, come on, you chickens. Ugh, 30 seconds. Ugh, you guys need to, like, huddle up or some shit. Oh my god, these fucking bomb chickens are the worst. I have 20 seconds to get four of you to get two of you, to get one of you. Damn right. Why are you scared of the fucking chickens? You're dead! And you died anyways! You re-died. Alright. So remember earlier when I said I'll play the game at a, a delayed audio for myself? So... <laughs> so... I totally remembered, Miss Ruby is a fucking... <laughs> she's a rhythm-based boss fight. So I'm gonna have to do a rhythm battle with delayed audio. Fuck those guys. Right? How the hell do I jump over there? Do I just... Okay. So I'm gonna try and do this. If it's too bad... I'm gonna have to not pay attention to the, uh, to the sound coming through my headset. Mm, I could feel that Koopa vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me I'm not bad juju. Lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, sly. See your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah blah blah. Well, if jaws need to flap, then let them flap. See you in the next world, Slack Hooper. All right.
I'm gonna be really quiet here because even though it's not even though I'm not gonna get to the rhythm based stuff even though I'm not gonna um what am I trying to say even though I'm not gonna find the rhythm useful I'm gonna concentrate like a motherfucker because I don't the audio is delayed for me come back here you can't run away forever quiet true quiet true why don't I have my servant Chumley escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. I just want to point out, I like how the vaguely ethnic character, right? Because, you know, she's from Haiti. They gave her the rhythm based boss fight. <laughs> like, hmm. So you telling me that us black people like hearing the rhythm of the drum? Well, guess what? You're damn right about that. All right, I'm gonna fuck this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta come up with my own rhythm. Ta, ta, ta. Oh, come on. I pressed the button. It didn't go. Oh, I'm gonna game over on this. Ha. Huh. Huh, huh. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, yeah, I pressed the button. Alright. Okay. I gotta put my TV on real quick. I'm not I'm not going out like this. No way. No way. Gotta take the headset off. Turn up the TV. You might hear it. You might hear it in the background. I apologize for that. But this ain't happening. What the hell? I pressed the button. Alright. Alright, game. Alright, game. We're doing this. We're doing this. I know I got a sense of rhythm. I swear. I swear I'm pressing the button. I swear I'm pressing the button. It's not me, it's the game. Oh, whatever, I made it. Suck it, Ruby.
Fuck you, Ruby. Slowing the rhythm down. How dare you? Oh my god, I gotta do it again. Oh. Ha, ha, hoo. Ha, ha, Bring it on, bitch. You certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none. Ooh, couldn't do that with delayed audio. Fuck that noise. He's tough. With a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. My man Sly Cooper always got a comeback. Look at this guy. Who's this guy? Slight in common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies made illegal in the World Peace Accord of '71. Burden Ms. Ruby a life. Latina honey bust big bad voodoo mama. Wow. I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. All right. Well, that's Haiti. Our next destination is China. That's right. You know what? I was about to say that's right. We're going international, but we already went international. We went from fucking what? What was our first? We went from Paris to London to America to Haiti. Now we're going to China. Ooh, and then after that is the last section in the game. But right now. Right now, that's going to be it for Sly Cooper. We're literally approaching three hours of the stream. Also, the game, I wouldn't say keeps crashing, but it crashed enough to where I think this is a good uh, stopping point. I also want to check that disc. I'm like, I've been taking care of my games, but for some reason, it just soft crashed like two times. So, uh, I don't know what the hell that's about. I wanted to do Jack and Daxter and finish it tonight. But right now, we're at like 3 o'clock, and my room is so fucking hot with no air conditioner. It's ridiculous. I don't think I can, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can make it through Jack and Daxter, and let alone even doing like an hour of Resident Evil. Like, I gotta stop the stream here. I'm gonna fucking pass out. But, um, yeah. So far, you know, good stream. Let's make sure we save the game so I don't gotta do that shit no more. All right. And, uh, yeah, next time on Sly Cooper, we're going to be heading to China dealing with the Panda King, right? The fourth member of the Finnish Five, and then after that, we'll deal with the final and last member. Final and last, they're the same thing, but you know what I mean. The fifth and last member of the Finnish Five. It wouldn't be Finnish Five if there was more than five of them, or less than five of them, right? And then that would bring Sly Cooper to an end. Um, next stream, I don't know what I'll do. Again, it's always up in the air as to what I do. Um, I don't really have like a set schedule or anything like that. I just stream when I feel like streaming. I try to make it a... I try to announce it beforehand, like a handful of hours beforehand. You can check that over at the YouTube uh, community page. That's where I post most of the uh, updates on the streams. I'm also going to try and post them on Twitter as well. You know, it's there on the screen. You can follow me there if you want. I really need to be more active on Twitter. I try to, but it's just like... You know, sometimes you just flick through Twitter and there's nothing interesting, right? The most interesting thing I see is like a bunch of artwork, and I love artwork. But, um, other than that, for everyone who's watched the stream, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming down. It means a lot. It really does. Uh, make sure you follow the Twitch channel and stuff like that. For people on the YouTube, thank you for watching as well. Um... It's very helpful. One thing I do have to say is uh, click that bell button. 
because I don't say that a lot. So I'm gonna say it's gonna start saying that now because I kind of need to. So yeah, if you're subscribed, click the bell button. If you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. I'm not gonna tell you to do to subscribe. Uh, subscribe if you don't want to subscribe. That's up to you. I really don't care. Um, and that's it. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna try and stream again tomorrow at the same time. You know, 12:30 a.m. You know, midnight streams for all for all us uh, night owls out there. Uh, but if anything else comes up, I'll let you guys know. And yeah, so stay safe. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you later.